Hi, so this is a short video to show you how to do um, some noise analysis within LT Spice. Um, noise analysis is important if you want to look at the effect of choosing larger resistor values over smaller resistor values, and also perhaps looking at the effect of changing the op amps or circuit topology, etc. Now, um, within LT Spice, there is a, uh, a noise command that we can bring in as part of the analysis Spice directives. So, first of all, I just want to demonstrate the uh, a simple circuit, a potential divider circuit. I've got a voltage source here. I've just specified that the amplitude uh, is, is one volt. So we'll get a uh, plus one volt, minus one volt swing fixed at one kilohertz. I'm not really interested in the in the frequency of, of, of this input, but it just demonstrates, um, gives us a nice sinusoid output. I'm going to do a transient analysis. So we've got 10 nanoseconds uh, step size. We're going to start recording at two milliseconds and finish at 10 milliseconds. So if I run this analysis and then take a look at the output, we've got 500 millivolts swing high and uh, minus 500 millivolts swing low. We've got these resistor values, which are the same value. So we'll get half um, of the voltage coming out, which is which is great. And that's what we'd expect. But uh, if we modify these uh, resistor values, say, let's say 25K. And again, 25K. Run the analysis again we get exactly the same results. Improve that, just close that, run again. Like so, the same output. The first difference is the current that's going to get drawn through this circuit with the larger values is going to be less. So that's one advantage of using the larger resistors. But one disadvantage, the unknown, is that every uh, resistor is, it creates its own noise and that's what's known as Johnson's noise. If we look at um, this here, this voltage here represents the internally generated noise of this resistor. And we can see that it's related to the uh, the temperature, uh, bandwidth that we measure it over, and uh, the resistance value. So we can see that um, as we increase the resistor values, this this voltage that's generated uh, per square root of hertz is going gonna, is gonna to increase. This is what we call the um, noise voltage density. And it's related to um, the square root of a, of a, of a hertz. So that's why as we uh, increase the bandwidth of measure, we also have to multiply by the square root of that bandwidth that we measure. So it's all with, with reference to one hertz. So if we did a, a measure uh, across say bandwidth of 100 hertz, then the square root of 100 is 10. So we'd multiply this value uh, by 10. So this, what this says is the more the more spread spectrum, the higher the, uh, the bandwidth, then the larger the RMS noise uh, would be in that case. So, how do we measure that in this circuit? Well, if we take a look at this, if we go from transient analysis, I'll just disable this one. And we look at this noise here, this noise command. What we're, what we're saying here is we're going to look at the, the noise, the V out of the circuit uh, with respect to this input source here. And we're going to analyze it across the frequency spectrum from 10 hertz to 20 kilohertz. And we're going to have uh, 10 points per, per octave. Now, if you do... Um, right click and um, look at the um, commands, the analysis commands. There are uh, obviously you can get help for transient AC analysis, DC sweep, noise. This is the, the one that we're looking at. So we're looking at output here, V, V out. Now it's important that we, we don't just type V out here. We, we have to specify a capital V uh, open bracket and then put the, uh, the net name in. This then tells LT Spice that it's going to do specifically uh, the noise analysis of the output node. And this is with respect to V in. You can change the sweeps as you see fit, um, but I specified it's going to be uh, 10, uh, 10 hertz to 20 kilohertz, and a uh, number of points per octave is 10. So if I just enable that directive, and just so we can see a comparison, let's put these back to what we had 250, 250, and we run and we click on the output. Here we go. This is the noise uh, density, if you like, across the whole frequency range uh, of interest. If we want to look at what the total RMS noise is, what we can do is we can do a control click on the uh, label and it tells us the total RMS noise is 203.52 nanovolts. So this is effectively an average or an integrated uh, noise addition across the entire spectrum. So that's a control uh, click on the, the label to get that figure. So this shows you that there is uh, some noise, some little voltage noise generated at this point by these resistors here. 
Now, let's see the effect of changing these resistor values. Now, what would be a good thing is to use this bring this step command in. So what I'm going to do is make these R values variable. And I'm going to leave the noise analysis in. But what I'm going to do, in, instead of the 250, I'm just going to call that curly bracket R, curly bracket. And same again for this one. Now, because these are the same value, we're always going to get half the voltage out. We know that. But what we're interested in seeing is whether we get a change in this uh, noise level. So I'm going to activate this step command. So this is going to go from 500 to 5K uh, in 500 steps. So we're just going to change that. We'll go from our 250. And we'll go in steps of 250. Oop. Change it back to a spice directive. And if we run this, lo and behold, we see this was our uh, this is our 250 ohm resistor and as we go up in resistor values you can see that uh, the value increases so we get a noise increase the larger we make these these resistor values and this level of noise may be perfectly acceptable within your circuit I mean this is 10 to the minus 9 volts however you think about if you're you're amplifying that signal and then amplifying it again and amplifying it again the overall noise at the end of your circuit might be quite large so this is why you sometimes have to minimize um, the resistor values in your circuit but obviously that's a trade-off between drawing too much current into from your circuit you've got to think about your attached load if this is 1k and I want to transfer the signal effectively into this then ideally I want this to be about 10k um, and it's always a balancing act between levels of noise and levels of performance in terms of uh, loading effect now what you can do um, the thing to bear in mind when we do these uh, the noise analysis this is going from 0 to 20 20k this is another reason why we we might want to limit the bandwidth of say the op amps or the the active circuits this is why we put filters on the output filters on the input because what we don't want is noise outside of this uh, range being added into the total noise uh, value so that's another reason why we use uh, passive filters within our circuit arrangements